Hello, everybody. Today is April 19, 2012. American engineers design a plan to help Fukushima clean up. So they're going to design a plan doesn't mean Japan's going to follow it. They haven't in the past. We've offered them help and ideas and technology, and they turned them all down. A team of American engineers experienced in nuclear decamination projects have joined forces to design a system to decaminate the tsunami waste and soil in Fukushima Prefecture. The engineering team has broad experience in decamination and cleanup at the Fernald, Ohio Uranium Processing Facility and the Three Mile Island Nuclear Power Plant accident. The team has proposed a best practice approach developed from their experience in the U.S. cleanup operations. Their process will include cesium capture during the waste cleaning and cesium capture in the system gas stream. According to Steve Jones of Green Energy Enterprise, incinerators have historically been used in some operations. Their operating history and efficiency has been problematic. The team has chosen a prolinensis gasification system to both concentrate the cesium for easier disposal and to effectively provide much needed electric power from the waste. According to reports, small areas in the prefecture may have as much as 250 million tons of contaminated tsunami waste. Some initial estimates have noted the area will need the equivalent of 80 super domes to store the contaminated soil. Other estimates are higher. And uh, the problem is it's going to grow because it's still releasing radiation. Glenn Showers of Energy 21 LLC notes, the pyrolysis design selected has three internal reactors, which give us a greater control of the gasification process to capture the maximum amount of cesium. The unit is also very clean and efficient in its operation. Initially, Pyrolysis LLC was presenting their waste to energy system as an option to aid the area in electric production. During initial meetings, officials in the Fukushima area asked if the system could be adapted to help with decontaminating the area. At that time, the team from Borough Engineering Incorporated and Energy 21 were assembled to determine options and design a decontamination system. Feedback from the local government has been excellent. This system provides a unique capability of effectively consolidating the cesium while producing much needed electric power. By capturing and consolidating the cesium, it can dramatically reduce the country's landfill requirements. So it's going to capture some of the cesium as they burn the uh, contaminated debris. How they're going to get it out of the soil, it doesn't say. Meanwhile, reports of mutated plants are coming in from Tokyo and also reports that um, the operators at Fukushima have been falsifying daily operation reports been lying about the uh, radiation they're also saying that um, within the last year there's been a two percent decrease in population meaning two percent less babies have been born gee i wonder why the madness continues all right bookmark my site i'll keep everyone up to date please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless y'all bye